Happy Wednesday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. We've almost made it to the middle of October and still no tropical systems have come our way here in Houston or the remainder of Southeast Texas. That is some very good news. We've still got about a month and a half to get through before we can officially say it's over for this year. But of course, we are closely tracking things. This is the time of the day where you get an update on everything that's happening out there in the tropics. We do have some pretty scary stuff in the Gulf of Mexico. At least it looks scary, but it's not quite as bad as it looks. At least it's not expected to be a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane, but we do actually have an area of low pressure just to the south and east of the Houston area in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Now over the last few days, this area of low pressure was being monitored for possible tropical cyclone development. In fact, the hurricane hunters did fly into this yesterday and they did determine that there wasn't a whole lot to it as far as a high shot of becoming a depression or a storm. It did have winds around 20 to 25 miles per hour, and also it was very disorganized. So that chance for possible tropical cyclone development really started to go down. Then late last night, that chance went down to near 0%. So although this does look scary, it does look like we could have a big time tropical system brewing in the Gulf of Mexico. We are not expecting that, but there's still a lot of convection associated with this, especially on the eastern side, a lot of showers and storms, very heavy rain still impacting central and eastern portions of the Gulf Coast. So even though this area of low pressure is non-tropical, it's still bringing a lot of rain to parts of the Gulf Coast. Of course, we got in on some of that rain action last night, this morning, even into parts of the afternoon. But notice the heaviest of that rain starting to push away from us. So it's going to be impacting parts of Louisiana and Mississippi, Alabama, and of course, northern Florida as well. But the good news, as I mentioned, no chance of tropical cyclone formation with this area of low pressure. So that was not the case the last few days. We were still concerned that it did have a very small window that it could develop, but we are not worried about that anymore. And the other good news, all of the bad weather, that heavy rain, the chance for strong storms starting to push away from us. All right, let me expand the view and take you all the way out into the far eastern Atlantic, and we have yet another tropical wave that has developed, and it is very close to the west coast of Africa. At this point, it's in the yellow. You see where that X is located? That's where the tropical wave is, and the yellow means there's only a low shot for this to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. So we're giving it about a 20% chance through the next two days and a 30% chance through about the next week or so. General movement will be off to the west, maybe west northwest, but it's still got several days to potentially develop. It's got to make it all the way across the Atlantic, so we've got a long time to watch that one. We did have another pretty strong tropical wave in the eastern Atlantic yesterday that did become Tropical Storm Sean. So here's a look at Tropical Storm Sean in the eastern Atlantic. Maximum sustained winds up to around 40 miles per hour. Movement is to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour, and we've got pressure right around 1006 millibars. So this at this point is a very disorganized system and notice over the next several days, it's really not going to get its act together anytime soon. And it actually is forecast to kind of fall apart completely and become a remnant low by early next week, likely on Monday. So I will take you through the forecast and the track and the path and everything. We are expecting it to still be around 40, 45 miles per hour for the next few days. Friday afternoon, 45 mile per hour winds. Saturday afternoon down to 40 mile per hour winds and then Sunday winds down to 35 miles per hour and by Monday it has weakened to that remnant low with winds only around 35 miles per hour. It is encountering what we call shear, a change of wind direction or speed with height so it kind of rips the part the storm as it goes into the upper levels that shear kind of rips it apart and we do have the potential for that to continue. We've also got some dry air that's kind of getting pulled into this system. So those are going to be the factors that kind of keep this system fairly disorganized, fairly weak. The shear, the drier air, and that will mean that we are not expecting this to become a major hurricane or even a category one hurricane, so it should start to weaken by early next week. It will start to get fairly close by Monday to 
portions of the northern Lesser Antilles, but I think it will likely fall apart before it would reach any of those Caribbean islands. Water temps out there are still very warm. Of course, we are getting closer to the end of hurricane season. We've already passed the peak of hurricane season, but check out the water temperatures. They're still well in the 80s, so we have still got to be concerned that we could still, even late in the season, have more possible development, especially as we get those cold fronts rolling into our area and pushing out over the Gulf. There's always a chance you could get a little spin up or a little area of low pressure developing there. And we could also still have development in the Atlantic and in the Caribbean, so we'll have to watch everywhere across the Atlantic Basin basically as you still see the water temps for much of the Atlantic still in the 80s and even still a 90 degree reading very close to the south coast of Florida. So we still could have additional tropical systems headed our way potentially or anywhere out there in the Atlantic Basin that we may have to deal with. So certainly keep that in mind. Now is certainly not the time to let your guard down. Make sure that you are ready for possible impacts, but things should be fairly quiet for us, at least through the rest of this week. Of course, now we've added Sean to the list of names that have been used. We have Tropical Storm Sean out there now. So we basically just got three names left, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. So it has certainly been a very busy season, even though we've been spared locally of any tropical cyclones hitting us. It's still been a pretty busy season elsewhere. The peak of hurricane season was back around September 10th. Of course, we are going down the roller coaster now and getting closer to the end of hurricane season, but still in that period where we could still have some tropical depressions, tropical storms and hurricanes forming. So of course, we'll continue to closely monitor it. Tropical storm Sean will not make it anywhere close to us. It's going to fall apart before it reaches us. And then we'll have to monitor that other tropical wave out in the eastern Atlantic to see if it's able to hang on and to see if it can manage to make it all the way across the Atlantic and then we'll have to see if it could possibly head our way. So make sure to stay alert, make sure to still go over that hurricane preparedness plan. Of course it is late in the season but it could still happen so you always need to be ready. Also don't forget to check us out on our Fox 26 weather app. You can find our weather videos, you can find tropical weather, your forecast cones, you can check us out on Fox Local as well. With your smart TV, you can download the Fox Local app. You can get it on Android TV, Roku, your Apple TV, several ways to keep up with the weather and to keep up with our news as well. That's it for your tropical update. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.